And a warm welcome on what is a fine day for football. I'm delighted to be able to report. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as always, is Stuart Robson. And on the menu, live action from the Zweite Bundesliga. It's Erster FC Heidenheim, and they take on Darmstadt. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And this is how the hosts will begin the game today. Well, it's a flat 4-5-1, which would suggest they're going to try and play on the counter-attack. However, that will only work if they don't drop too deep and can't support the main striker. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, when you play in a 3-5-2 formation, the position of the wing-backs is key. If they drop too deep, you can't dominate possession. And if they play too high, you leave the centre-backs exposed. They have to get the balance right. And the match begins. Mele. Now, let's see what they can do here. Can he finish? Couldn't make it 1-0. Maybe not quite warmed up. Well, that should have been the opener. He has to hit the target from there. Bush, Jan Schupner, moving forward effectively, well it came to nothing in the end, oh that pass easy on the eye, he'll be breathing a sigh of relief, ball one, pick, And slipped through beautifully. Well, it didn't happen for them in attack. Melem. Marvin Melem. And he did well to cut it out. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Oh, nice ball. Must take the lead here. Braden Manu. Lost possession. And did well to keep hold of it while waiting for the support to arrive. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Karic on the offensive. A really top-notch piece of defending. Well, as you can see, it's been really tight and neither side has taken enough risk going forward. Hopefully that will change soon and then we might get some entertainment. Just cutting off the supply.
Jan Niklas Beste. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. Bada. And there it is, the half-time whistle. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. And he might be through here. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Superb tackle. Jonas Furenbach. Well, attacking possibilities. With the game level, let's see what they can do with this corner. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. Who can he pick out? Outrageously good piece of defending on the line. And no problems at all for the keeper. Manu. Well, that's had to put in a clean tackle. Now, who can he play it to? Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. He's foiled them on his own. Teets. Getting forward. Opportunity. Oh, and it goes at long last. Deadlock broken. Will that be the one that gives them the win? Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Tim Kleindienst. And the emphasis is on creativity. Well, he really read that brilliantly. Just ten minutes to go. They're showing a willingness to attack, as they must, given the circumstances. Time running out. A corner kick, and who knows, this might represent the last chance to grab an equaliser. Well, they've decided to make a change. He's driven in the corner. Well, not the best clearance. And problem solved for now. And taking it away.
and the electronic board showing one additional minute on the attack in the closing phase he might be able to carve something out and there goes the final whistle it's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned well, Derek, it was a hard-fought contest, which neither side completely dominated, but the result will certainly hurt them. They need to bounce back next time out. Well, we're highlighting him for a reason, Stuart. He's put in a really authoritative performance here. Well, he was excellent today, and he gave them that all-important lead. They just struggled to cope with him. His movement was so clever.